Hey guys, I'm going to do a really quick review for you guys today on a new Physicians Formula, two new Physician Formula products, I guess. Um, the new all-in-one BB cream and the supposed what Physicians Formula likes to claim as the first all-in-one BB powder. So, we'll start out with the cream, and it comes packaged with this pretty silver packaging that looks like that, and then the tube looks like that. And um, first things first, both the powder and the cream, they come in two shades. There is fair medium and medium to dark, and they're the same two shades for both the powder and the cream. And I'll just throw it out there um, right now, the... The cream is too dark for me, and the powder is too dark for me, and I am a light to fair skin tone, so with a redder undertone. Sorry if I wet my nose like this throughout the video, but my nose is still running from my cold. So anyway, um, I'll put a little bit of this on the back of my hand so that you guys can see what it looks like. So right there, you, it, it is picking up good, pretty true to color on the camera. It is a hair orange, I think. I am not wearing so so that is what it looks like right there we'll blend it all the way out so as you can see my hand is pretty white and blended all over my hand it kind of get is a little orange as you can I don't have it on my face right now because I <laughs> I bit the bullet and I broke down and I bought a beauty blender I'm late on that bandwagon I can tell you what but who thinks sponge I'm gonna use a sponge to put my makeup on with all our fancy makeup brushes let's use a sponge yeah I was in Buying into the hype, but anyway, I got it, and so I grabbed my um, hardest blending foundation to test it out with, and we might see a review coming up later. I don't know, but anyway, totally off the subject. I'm not wearing the BB cream on my face today, so this is what it looks like. I will tell you that I do really like the BB cream. I have very dry skin, and that almost seemed like by the end of the day, my skin was too um, oily. And for me, that's a rarity to have really oily skin. I, it was actually, that cream and the powder was what I was wearing in my video. I think it was a, a MAC haul I did with some, I did interlude part saying I kind of look like a disco ball because I kind of look like a disco ball because I didn't want to alter nothing like that to see how it wear to the very end of the day. By the end of the day, I was pretty shiny. But this here with the Mineral Wear Talc Free Mineral Face Powder, also from Physicians Formula, in the translucent light shade, which is their lightest shade over the top, looks fantastic. It, um, it works really great. This works really great to hydrate the skin, and this on top both mattifies it, and it, if you guys don't know already, like, you name the setting powder or whatever, what have you, and I've tried it, but this Physician's Formula here, this powder will fix any foundation. It You can wear it by itself. You can wear it over BB creams. This stuff is amazing. I have purchased this over and 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 over again. I can't rave enough about it. So anyway, this cream... Time. This cream with this powder over the top is amazing. I have been wearing it, um, I'd probably say four, four times, four to five times out of the week for the past three weeks since I got it, which was about three weeks ago. So anyway, I really, really like that. And real quick, I'll read off to you what uh, Physicians Formula is claiming about the BB cream. The Super BB All-in-One Beauty Balm Cream. And it says it has 10 plus beauty benefits, which are smoothing, moisturizing, protecting, firming, priming and filling, perfecting, concealing, brightening, line softening, and also long wearing. And it says it replaces your moisturizer, foundation, and SPF, and it has SPF 30 in it. Now, to make note, the active sunscreen ingredients in this are mineral sunscreens and it has titanium dioxide at 5.76 percent and also zinc oxide at 2.94 percent and i did take a photograph of myself wearing this to see if there was any flashback and there wasn't so both with the powder on as well which also has over twice the amount of uh active mineral sunscreen in it as the cream does so I thought that was pretty good that there was no flashback but if you guys are worried about that um as I said in my other videos if you guys are ever going to take pictures and you're worried about flashback or something but you still want to wear a foundation or a powder with SPF shoot for something with chemical sunscreen in it because it is your physical uh sunscreen blockers that give the flashback in powders because the titanium dioxide and zinc oxide they are both in their natural form white base powders so 
it cl the, they cling the mix them in with pigments and that's how they get the color and yada 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 but <sighs> anyways so that is what physician's formula says about the cream and then the powder they are claiming it to be like i said the first super bb all-in-one beauty balm powder so they're, they're saying this is the first bb cream type bb form whatever whatever in a powder and this does have glycerin in it it has um i think two different forms of oil in it and it also has dimethicone in it so that on top of all the ingredients that are in the <laughs> the cream which are castor oil glycerin shea butter dimethicone uh, willow bark extract. I mean, there's some some pretty hydrating ingredients in this. So this with this on top was over hydrating for my skin, and that is a that is a feat to say, considering all the things I use to try to combat spots and acne and stuff like that that dries my skin out, and to have dry skin on top of it. So that says a lot. It, it, both the products together are gonna work awesome on medium skin tones with dry skin. I highly recommend both of them for that. But for me, the powder um, setting the cream with this powder was just too dark. I'm yet to try the powder by itself. But back to what the powder claims. <laughs> it says it's all in one beauty balm powder, SPF 30. It says 10 plus beauty benefits on this package too. It says smoothing, perfecting protecting, oil control, pore minimizing, airbrushing, line softening, concealing, setting, and long wearing. And the uh, it's got 15% titanium dioxide and 10% zinc oxide. So as you can see, those are some high uh, SPF ratings in this. And I can tell you that I have been using, in the summertime, I am for everyday use, if I'm not like going anywhere or doing anything too fancy, I, I rely on this mineral air talc free powder. Also from Physicians Formula, it's the Mineral Airbrushing Pressed Powder SPF 30. And I can use the translucent or the creamy natural in this powder, but I rely on these these suckers for um, sunscreen. I'm like OCD about it. I put sunscreen on and then I have a foundation with sunscreen on and then I put a powder on top with sunscreen in it. So I better not burn, but I can tell you I was outside in an event for in 110 degree heat last summer with this on in direct sun for hours and I did not burn. And I am fair and if I don't have sunscreen or anything, I lobsterfy burn, like burn like, yeah, I look burnt because I burn and I don't tan. I'm one of those people. Mm -hmm. Two thumbs up for people with who burn and don't tan. Two thumbs way, way down. <laughs> Anyways, so this is a really great powder too for the summertime. I don't know why I'm talking about a bunch of physicians for me products when I'm supposed to get back to the subject. Anyway, um this powder here is it I think it's a bit too too much for my skin. Uh both in coloring and with the cream and the powder. It's just it by the probably four hours in I look like a grease slick. So I highly recommend both products. I do for dry dry skin the pow the cream on its own with a different setting powder highly recommend I do not recommend either one of these products for like fair alabaster skin at all because you're gonna probably look orange even with uh, if you try to set that uh, cream with your lightest lightest powder it's gonna look wonky wonky so uh, I do like the cream I have been wearing it I have not broke out because of it this here situation took the claws to my face should never did that. <laughs> anyway, that's that's all I got for for my physician's formula. Um, if you guys have any questions, like always, feel free to comment, and I'll be glad to answer any questions you guys got. Um, it's always welcome. Don't forget to wear a sunscreen. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna put a little bit of footage of my new pony in uh, at the very end. I was gonna put him in a haul video because I per I got him like two weeks ago. I went down and bought him with some new drugstore makeup I couldn't help myself but I was gonna put him in a haul I thought that would be funny but I never got to do I never did another haul drugstore haul or whatever since then so if you guys are interested in seeing him and then my mom's old horse he's in the barn with the colts to because it's winter time and it's freezing it's supposed to be like 20 the actual temperature is supposed to be 20 below on Sunday night so frigid anyway if you guys are interested in that just keep watching and until later bye Hi, Koi.
Where's little Joe at? There he is. Little Joe. There's little Joe. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Hey you, what are you doing? What are you guys doing out here? Being naughty. Look at these, all these little naughty horses. Look at these guys. Look at, I can't zoom anymore, you guys. <laughs> hey, stay over there. <laughs> That little naughty horse. And there's another little naughty horse. There's a big naughty horse. Oh, crazy naughty. Look at this guy here. He's the naughtiest boy. 